So, like, this is a two-part question. How did you start tattooing? And did you think that you would make it to this level? And what are some of the pieces of advice or, like, things that worked for you to try to get to the level that you're at? Yeah, the second part... Like, you even quit? Yeah, yeah. So the second part of that question is probably... Uh, and that's one of my favorite questions. I started, um, well, I went to uh, art school in San Francisco. Um, when I graduated from there, I was looking to get into character design, um, but I would hang around tattoo shops over there, uh, a couple of friends out there, and came back here and just picked it up. Um, I didn't do an apprenticeship. When I first started, I just did it to do it on the side, extra money. Um, so I kind of, went into it to just do small pieces. I never wanted to do portraits. Um, I was only going to do like traditional um, names, like everything I don't do now. And um, uh, yeah, I, I never thought it would be to this level. Like um, I think when I first started seeing that it was possible is when I started seeing um, Bob Tyrell's work. When I saw his work, well, really before that it was um, Mr. Cartoon. And I, and I was like, well, maybe I can replicate that style because it's lines and then a little bit of shading. Then I saw Bob Tyrell and that's when I was like, there's no way I can do portraits. Like, I, I'm not going to get to that level. Um, and then I just kind of got asked to do a portrait once. I did that portrait and it was just, you know, straight lines and um, a little bit of shading. And I was pretty happy with it for what it was. And just from there, I just started taking in more portraits. And then, and then finally I realized that um, I could probably um, do more realism pieces and I got a little more serious with it. The one thing I did that probably pushed me was over the edge was uh, I sacrificed everything. Like um, I was working, I, I had like maybe three jobs at one point and doing tattoos on the side and you know making no money got evicted um like broke broke and um and so i finally like i was like you know what i, I gotta do something with art and i started to fall in love with tattooing so much that i was like I'm, I'm not gonna do any character design like school pretty much is in the past you know and um so I just took it serious, I sacrificed everything, worked in the shop full time, and I knew it wasn't gonna be overnight, but I knew um, I could get to a level because um, I, I saw like the progression. And I think within, this was, was probably close to four years ago, and I've been tattooing for 11. And I think that's when my work started to really, get on another level you know. so I think pretty much is um, like to get to a, to a really high level I think you have to really sacrifice a lot so you think when you quit your job and then came back to tattooing that was kind of like your sink or swim I think it was yeah it was and it wasn't more that I quit the job I think it's I just changed my mindset from okay this is going to be something I do for fun you know, it was more like, this is what I do. It's what I'm going to do.
Vega, uh, black and gray artist from Austin, Texas. I'd like to give a shout out to Empire Inks, uh, everybody at Empire Inks Studio for having me out here. Nice. <laughs> nice.